Hello everyone, it's Bloob here. Okay, that sounds really stupid saying that out loud. But anyways, today I'm going to show you how to install Reshade for Assetto Corsa. So the first step is to go to the Reshade website, which is reshade.me. I'll put a link in the description for that. And we're going to click this download button right here in the middle. And, oh my god, this uh, new farm game is making a lot of waves. But uh, Anyways, so we're going to click this download Reshade button right here, 6.4.1. A few people have told me they've had issues with version 6 plus of Reshade, where some cars look encrypted when they shouldn't. I've never had this issue myself, so I just use the latest version. But if you do have this issue, you should try an older version. I think the latest version that uh, no one has issues with is 5.9.2. So I'll put a link to that in the description. But anyways, we're going to continue with version 6.4.1. If you're watching this a bit later, there may be a different number here if it's been updated. But anyways, we're going to click this. Download this. And we're going to open the EXE. And now you'll have this window pop up here. This is the reshade install window. We're going to click acs.exe. Do not click acs x86 unless you play in 32-bit. And don't bother clicking that. It's deceiving, but you don't want to install it on the launcher because the launcher is not the actual program of the game. acs.exe is. So we're going to select this. I'm going to click Next. Select DirectX 10, 11, 12. Click Next. And once we get to this page, we want to install all the effects, not just specific effects. And so we're going to uncheck all and then check all again. So now everything is checked. And you don't want to select anything here because if you pick a specific config, it's just going to install the, the effects used in that specific config. And if you install everything, you should be good to use any config you like, or at least most configs. Um, yeah, so we're going to go next. And you'll see here it's downloading all the effects and installing them for you into the game folder. And you just have to wait for this to finish. And there you go, you're done. You're gonna click finish, and there you go, you've installed Reshade for Assetto Corsa. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've made this test config here, abcdefg.any. All it does is make the game black and white, so it's a very easy way to make sure that you have Reshade working properly, and your uh, enable and disable config button is working too. So we'll go ahead and download that, and save it here. All we have to do now is go to our downloads folder and copy this to our Assetto Corsa root folder. And it's already here because I made it myself, so yeah, we'll just replace it anyways. And now I'll show you how to load up reshading game. The first sign that you've installed reshade correctly is seeing this bar here at the top. It tells you the version, and um, if you don't see this bar here, then you didn't install it correctly. And I'm guessing you probably installed it on the wrong EXE, so make sure you install an ACS.exe. Otherwise, you're not going to see this bar, and you've installed it on probably the game launcher. So now that we're in game, we're going to press home, and you'll see this window pop up here, which is the reshade panel. But this gray thing here is not part of reshade. This is because the default key for the Assetto Corsa console is also home. So we'll fix that, but I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So anyways, it comes with a tutorial, but I'll just show you the basics and we'll skip this. So anyways, you'll see a reshade here is finally opened, and these are all the effects we just installed. And the first thing you want to do is go to settings and set up your hotkeys. So this hotkey here is the home key, which opens and closes the panel. So we're going to change this to something else because we don't want this to interfere with uh, this is of course a console. We don't want to open both at the same time. I personally like to do shift one for this. And then your effect toggle key is used to turn on and off the effects. We're gonna do shift two for that. And the effect reload key, we'll do shift three. What this does is it reloads all the effects that you've downloaded the same way that they load in once you uh, launch the game. So we'll go back to home here and I'll show you how to load a config. So we'll try loading our test config here. And this here is the set of course uh, root folder, which is why I told you to put the config there. You could technically put this outside the folder, but it makes it a bit more difficult to find. And you could put a folder here called reshake configs and just organize it that way. But I just put them in the root folder. So we'll click here on our abcdefg.any and we'll select that. And now you can see the game's black and white. And uh, let's just press the home key here to hide this. So now our new hotkey to open the window is shift one. And to turn on and off the effects, we'll press Shift 2. So you can see your reshade working properly now. And yeah, that's how you load configs here. And I think I'll show you guys how to uninstall it too, because it's not as simple as just clicking uninstall. It does leave some uh, remains in your root folder. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll click the reshade setup again. We'll select acs.exe. And same thing, DirectX 10, 11, 12. 
And we're gonna click uninstall reshade and effects. Click next and click finish. Now even though we've done that, you can still see here the reshade shaders folder hasn't been deleted. So, so we'll go ahead and delete that. And there you go, you've deleted reshade and all the configs you have. So you can see it hasn't deleted any of my configs here. They're all still there. So you don't have to worry about your configs being lost, but all the shaders which are used in reshade are now gone. And the program itself is completely gone from the computer. So I hope that was helpful, if that was simple enough. If you have any other questions about reshade or how to install it, uninstall it, whatever, just leave me a comment below and thanks for watching.